Hey everybody, everybody, I'm back. It's Scott Gold. Well, today is Tuesday and Christmas Eve is Saturday. It's a busy time. Yesterday was the first day of Hanukkah. Everybody's busy and trying to get ready for the holidays. I'm, of course, at work, but uh, trying to do all the last minute things and get everything done. And to complicate matters, we're calling for a blizzard actually which is not something we typically have here uh in chicago i mean it's always possible but i could count on one hand in my lifetime how many blizzards there's ever been so it's interesting we'll see if it pans out you know they usually love to hype these things up you know a week in advance and then the actual event occurs and it's like i survived the blizzard of 22 and it's like a dusting you know so we'll see what happens in the meantime i thought i would take a trip to my snack drawer and see what i could find today i found these zaps new orleans kettle chip kettle style voodoo potato chips i've never had these I've heard of them. I actually heard of another YouTuber talking about them um, and how apparently they were very hard to come by and somebody ordered like a whole case of them online. And I happened to see them in a store yesterday and this was $3 for 4.75 ounces. So it's not like it's a big bag, but I thought, let's try it, you know? If people like them that well, maybe there's something to them. And it's a novelty. So it's only 8 a.m. <laughs> but I had a late night last night. So let's give these a try. This is how they look. Now, the bag is very eye-catching and colorful. I really would not have probably noticed it if it wasn't for the word voodoo on it and the voodoo dolls <laughs> with the pins sticking them and that sort of a thing so very cute it says uh our new orleans kettle style chips are cooked to perfection and combined with premium ingredients this special recipe results in a crunchier, tastier, and unique potato chip experience, which we hope you will prefer. Anyways, let's give it a shot. Okay, well, there's the seasoning on these. It's not particularly hot. It's very crunchy as a kettle chip generally is. Can you hear that crunch? <laughs> now, while they're crunchy, I've had kettle chips that were more crunchy, probably overboard, so. This has a nice amount of crunch. The chips are not crushed, which they often are in other bags of potato chips. And they're very flavorful. They're not overly salty. I guess it would, you would call it kind of a, a Creole, maybe like a Tony Satchery's seasoning type of type of thing. It's not overwhelming and uh, not overly salty. So I like this. I don't always love like barbecue chips. I really don't like hot chips. And these are neither of those two things. I think they're uh, Probably preferable to regular potato chips because they do have added flavor. They're not greasy. And they're the smooth texture. They're not the ridges 
which I like too, but these are smooth. Small little pieces in here. You know, these are generally the size of the chips. Very crispy and well seasoned, so. I would recommend them. Now, I don't know that you'll see them all that much outside of probably Louisiana, but um, I never have. So this was the first. So maybe either they're catching on in popularity or they were sort of catering to a specialty type of crowd, you know, especially for the holidays. You sometimes see products that you don't normally find in the stores. So if you see them, you very well may want to try them. Or Zaps, New Orleans style kettle chips voodoo. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. If you have, welcome to the family. I love you for watching.